What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're taking a look at the fastest windows 10 version a lot of people talk about windows 10 and how sluggish and how much of a resource hog it is as you can see here sometimes you get a load of processes running here utilization is very high and also a lot of uh, cache and memory use here and this is general for a lot of people when they want a super fast Windows 10. A lot of people blame it to bloatware and also telemetry and other bits and pieces, but there is a version of Windows 10 which you can use, which is Windows 10 LTSC. Now you can download the ISO image from Microsoft. It's a 90 day trial and uh, you can check it out for yourself. Basically, you would need to put in all of your details here uh, to download the ISO from them. So I'll just put some information inside here and I'm going to click continue here and basically download uh, the ISO. Now you get to choose whether you want to use 32-bit or 64-bit. I'm going to choose 64-bit here, and also please select a language. There's not a lot of languages here, but you can create ones with your own language in here. So I'm just going to put inside here, English uh, Great Britain, and click on this one, and then it allow me to hit the download button and download this to my computer. Once I've got this downloaded, I would need to create a bootable USB flash drive, which you can use multiple different ways of doing this. I'm going to be using, say, for instance, Rufus. You can go here and download Rufus portable version and create your own bootable USB flash drive with your Windows 10 LTSC on it. Now, this is the version here that we need to download. So let me go ahead and click on this and download this. So we've got both of them on our computer. And uh, once they're both down, we can then go ahead and create our flash drive ready for installation. Okay, so both of those files are now down and I can now click on the Rufus and go ahead and start to build my USB flash drive. Now you're gonna to need to make sure that you've got a flash drive that's big enough to take the ISO image. So I'm using just a 32 gigabyte uh, flash drive here, but basically that's what I'll be using here, as you can see here, 32 gigabyte flash drive. And uh, what we need to do is select our ISO image we downloaded. So I'm going to hit select and go to the location where I downloaded that. It's in my downloads folder, so I'll select that. I'm going to leave the image option as standard Windows installation. You can check MBR or GPT, depending on what your setup is for your machine here. Target system is BIOS or UEFI-CSM. So depending on which one you want to set up here, whether you want GPT, UEFI, non-CSM, for more modern systems, or if you want to use the older MBR, it's entirely up to you. Just create the uh, flash drive to your requirements. So I'm going to leave the uh, volume label as it is going to change the file system to NTFS, and I'm just going to put this onto MBR BIOS or UEFI CSM here. Everything seems to be okay. When you're happy with your selection, you can then click on uh, the start button, which will then start. Uh, the building process for your bootable USB flash drive. It will warn you that all the data is going to be erased on that USB flash drive. So click yes and click OK. And this is going to then get it all ready for us. So this does take a bit of time. So be patient and let that go ahead and create that for us. Once we've got this, we can then go into our PC, plug that into the PC we want to install it on and change the boot order to boot to that USB flash drive and we should be ready to go ahead and install our Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. So that is now completed, so click close. Now the installation process is pretty much the same as a Windows 10 uh, Pro install or Windows 10 Home install. You'll see all the same sort of uh, things when you install it. So I'm not gonna go through the whole process of that because pretty much it is the same thing. So just let it go ahead as you would and install it as you would any sort of Windows 10 operating system. You can now see down the bottom right hand side, it's telling us we do have the LTSC 90 day trial version here. And again, we can activate this at any time. Now you notice that there is no tiles here. They've removed all of these. It runs on a very minimalistic sort of install. You can see no search box here for Cortana or anything like that. It's been pretty much a lot of that stuff has been taken out. And uh, you can see when we go into the settings here, you do have the usual things uh, which you can do like dark mode and things like that. 
but there's a lot of apps that have been removed like edge is not on here and a bunch of other bits and pieces have been removed from uh, the system the operating system itself seems rather snappy and very responsive and again you can go in here and you'll be able to make changes to your operating system just like you would inside any other version you can go into your privacy settings and make loads of different changes just as you would here and you can debloat uh, the operating system even further now there's certainly not as much resource uh, usage here from this version of windows 10 and that's probably why a lot of gamers prefer to use the ltsc versions of windows 10 over other versions so you can see here uh, the utilization is not there and also the processes have dropped and again you could even make that even lower if you wanted to go even further with it and which you can do so again this is a pretty nice little build uh, for windows 10 and it's probably one of the faster ones now what are the differences between windows 10 professional and windows 10 ltsc uh, basically you're going to get less control with windows 10 professional over a full control with ltsc because you get much more control from it forced updates are going to be on windows 10 home and windows 10 professional over windows 10 ltsc you get much more uh, control over the updates no forced feature updates are also in place here as well 18 month support is only for the windows 10 home and professional the support ends very quickly for those whereas you'll find for the ltsc versions you're going to get a 10 year support period which is a very long time and that's because it's designed for business use less features on the windows 10 professional compared to windows 10 ltsc as well and also a shorter life cycle is on windows 10 professional compared to ltsc which you do get a much more longer uh, life cycle also more expensive uh, to use windows 10 professional on a business level and also multiple keys are used whereas a single key is used on ltsc as well anyway i think that's going to be about it now if you're looking for a version of this you're probably going to see quite a few of them on the internet and also other youtubers that have created videos on these types of things now as i've always said if you're going to be using the ltsc versions make sure you do it yourself and you get the right one from the right source because if you're downloading these from someone off the internet, you don't know what they've done with them, what they've ripped out and what they've put in. And you've got to be very, very careful uh, with those types of versions because they're not supported by Microsoft. Always use the, from the main source, which is Microsoft themselves and download theirs from their website. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.